Hello, I'm Fortunata Barone, Certified EFT Practitioner, and welcome to my studio. EFT also stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, also known as tapping. If you are new to EFT, check out my four minute video on YouTube entitled, How to Tap, What is EFT First? You can pause this video to watch it, or just follow along, I'll call out the points. Keep in mind watching videos do not replace one-on-one -on -one work with a practitioner. These videos are for informational purposes only. Also, when we tap, we look at the negative first so we can see it and then clear it out. This video will be on helping to release the anxiety. Many of us in the performing arts or sports uh, and get before and during a performance or event. We call it performance anxiety or stage fright and it can be quite disabling. This video will be specific to figure skaters, but if you are a dancer on stage, singer, public speaker, or athlete in other sport, this can be useful as well. Substitute skating terms and words with the language of your sport or art. Just a little visual there. So let's get started by getting settled Sitting comfortably, feet on the floor if you can, water nearby, water nearby, and if you want a pen and paper to maybe write down any thoughts that come up or that stand out to you. The more specific we can get with our symptoms and thoughts, the better EFT works. Now think about the anxiety you feel around performing, 10 being the worst, where you almost can't move, close to vomiting and zero, no anxiety at all. Where are you usually at? Keep that in mind and let's continue. Place one hand over your heart and the other over your lower abdomen. Take a slow, gentle breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And gently tapping on the side of the hand also call the karate chop point, right, left, or both together. It doesn't matter. Repeat after me out loud or in your mind if you're around others. Even though I get this shaking leg things before and during my performance, I love and accept myself. Even though sometimes days before the competition, I get stomach upset and feel as if I'm living in the bathroom. I accept myself and how I feel. Even though all these negative thoughts about my skating and myself are creeping in, I choose to forgive myself. Let's take a gentle breath in and out. Continuing on, tapping on the eyebrow point, right, left, or both. These shaking legs, I need to use the bathroom. Side of the eye, this mouth dryness and shortness of breath. Under the eye, sometimes I feel as if I'm going to vomit. Under the nose, I can't seem to remember my program. Chin. These lightheaded feelings, I feel so dizzy. Oh my God, the other skater's music is so much better than mine. Collarbone. I feel like I look ridiculous. Under the arm. All these negative thoughts wrists. My skating skills aren't as good as everyone else's. Top of the head. What am I doing here? People will make fun of me. Let's take a gentle breath in and out. What are you noticing now? Any thoughts run through your mind? Even if it seems unrelated, it could be a key to unlocking what is your core issue or what are your limiting beliefs. 
did your numbers go up or down? Sometimes it goes up and that's okay. Are you yawning, burping, or crying? Those are symptoms that EFT is working and creating a release. Are you ready to keep going? Okay, good. Let's go back to the eyebrow point. These legs shake so badly when I'm performing. Like they don't belong to me. I don't like that. Side of the eye. My stomach is turning. Under the eye. This insomnia the night before. Under the nose. This dry mouth as I compete. Oh my God, this sucks. Chin. Great. I just messed that up. Collarbone. My feet feel foreign to me and a little numb. Under the arm. This shortness of breath. I might faint. Wrists. I feel so sad. Unworthy of being here. Unworthy of skating. Top of the head. All these negative thoughts. Gently stop tapping and take a breath in and out. What are you noticing now? What's going on for you? Are you having any of the signs of release? I hope so. Two more rounds and I'm hoping you'll all feel lighter. If at any point you want to stop, please do so. Or if you're finding you're having very upsetting thoughts, just touch the points and breathe. And please reach out for a consult with me. First one is always no charge or reach out to a mental health practitioner. So let's keep going. At the eyebrow point, choosing to have strong feeling legs with soft bending knees. Side of the eye. I am choosing to believe I am good enough right here, right now. Under the eye. I am choosing to allow my stomach to feel calm. Under the nose. Allowing my breath to feel even and full. Chin. Choosing to feel worthy of clear thoughts and skate my program with ease. Collarbone point. You could tap like this or the whole collarbone. Choosing to allow myself forgiveness if an element doesn't seem right. Under the arm. I choose to approve of myself. Wrists. Allowing my whole body to feel strong and flexible. Top of the head. Choosing to feel in my body and my mind. Choosing to feel safe right now. Eyebrow. All this stress about performing. Side of the eye. I choose strong, flexible legs. Under the eye. All this pre-performance nausea. Under the nose. Choosing to allow my breath to feel even and full. Chin. My music sucks. Collarbone. Being willing to feel worthy of enjoying my skating performance. Underarm. All this stomach upset. Top of the head. I am being willing to choose to love and accept myself and feel calm and confident when I'm performing. Feeling safe in my body and mind now. 
let's gently stop tapping. Great work, everybody. Take a gentle breath in and out. What are you noticing now? We dug into some sensitive emotional issues, so bravo for following along. Where is your number now? Hopefully it went down. If it didn't, or you'd like it to be lower, repeat this tapping, or let's schedule an appointment. I hope this helped you, and if you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, follow, and definitely share to anyone you think it may help. Keep skating, keep tapping, and have a great day, everyone. And remember, we are all living on the edge.